I just want to play. I, I, I just want to play. It's so f good. This game literally takes all the best things from the previous game, adds more, and said, have uh, fun. Doom is a story about a guy who's like a soldier who basically is on Mars and these people on Mars are opening a portal to hell and all these demons and shit come through and you gotta rip them apart with your bare hands or with a chainsaw or a shotgun or an assault rifle or other weapons that are dope as hell that you need to play and use. The style of gameplay the 2016 game created is the same style of gameplay here, just refined beyond reason. It is so clean to use your dash in this game and then to grab one of these little like pole thingies and shoot up and then kill something, glory kill that, and then, then go over there with my shotgun. And blah, blah, blah. Going through each level at the fast pace you do, maintaining that, that speed, tearing through, ripping and tearing through everything. It's, it's, it's what you expect out of a modern Doom game. I actually like this one more than the 2016 Doom. I'm being real. I, I like it more. The, the gameplay is better. The guns are better. Everything flows so much cleaner. Oh, and this game is brighter. I know that may not be like a big deal, but you can actually see a lot of the levels around you instead of the ominous kind of dark setup they had in the last one. And I know why they did it the way they did the last one. When you set up the darker levels, it makes the graphics look more impressive. But the fact that they lit up the levels here, they increased the lighting and the graphics look better. That right there shows the advancement of this game. The gameplay is the best part. Hands down. The story isn't bad, actually. I haven't completed it yet. I'm, I'm kind of close, but the story is not bad. You know, it, it, it's Doom. You can't really expect too much out of the story. You play these games for the gameplay, and the gameplay kills it. Like I said, there are some new additions to this game when it comes to the mobility, when it comes to the gadgets you get, when it comes to the actual ads themselves. It's kind of a new game, but still the same as the 2016 Doom in the ways the 2016 Doom worked best. The best sequels for me are the ones that capitalize on the best parts of the base game and then expand, whether it be the world, the ads, more, more gadgets, more skill trees. You expand on what works. And Doom Eternal has expanded on everything that worked. Also, there's a super cool mode where you can play as some demons now. It's dope. It's actually dope. I didn't think it was going to be dope. But you can play as other demons, and it's so f cool. And the level of customization you can add to your Doom guy. It's, it's not immense. It's not deep. But it's just, it's nice. You know, taking my Doom guy and throwing on the original Doom guy skin, but modernized to this game, it's just nice. It's actually really cool to see the difference in levels in this game compared to the 2016 Doom. It's actually kind of like what they did with the first Doom and the second Doom. You know, the first Doom, the levels weren't as, how do I say, varying. You know, in Doom 2, you had different heights to, to villains. You had different corridors, different rooms you had to access. It was, it was just more. And this game feels like they made that transition. That is gonna bring us to my final Gotham grade. And Doom Eternal is a bloody great game. Thank you guys for checking out my quick thoughts on the game. If you have not played Doom Eternal, I highly recommend it. Also, if you haven't gone back, go play the 2016 Doom. You don't have to go back and play the old ones, unless you want to, and you'll be my favorite. Thank you again for checking out the review. Make sure you drop it a like, share it with all your friends, and rip and tear through that subscribe button to keep updated on all my latest content. For now though, I'm Jackson, this is Gotham Saves Geekdom, and I hope you have the best day.